Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Now today, um, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing the Gilmore Girls book tag. And you may have recently seen Clint from Reads Readers did this tag. And it's quite funny because I had, um, I tend to write my video ideas like a month beforehand. And I always have a list of video ideas on my phone. And since the um, year in the life, um, like you know the extended bit of Gilmore Girls came out I've had this like I saw this tag then and I've been wanting to do it for then but I just haven't ever got around to it anyway the other day I decided yes I'm gonna do it this month so I had written it down and when I wrote my answers out um, on my in my notes I had then decided I needed to tag people and I went onto Clint's channel just to check he hadn't done it because I wanted to tag him and it was the most recent video that he just uploaded so I'm going to say great minds think alike and obviously I haven't tagged him because he's obviously done it already but do go and check out Clint's channel, I'll link it down below in the video um, so you can go and watch his take on this video because obviously I wanted him to do it hence why I was going to tag him so very excited about that uh, and love the fact that he's doing Gilmore Girls stuff too because I love the Gilmore Girls so much. The Gilmore Girls is a series that I've watched since I was little and um, then I I think I used to catch like the odd episode I never really had watched the whole series through and then I got the gift set I got gifted the box set uh, before I went to university and I remember sitting there my first year and I literally watched the whole thing because I love Gilmore Girls and um, yeah so this tag has I think it's like 12 questions based on each of the characters and um, I'm going to tell you what I think of each of the characters too while we're at it because some of the uh, points to this I didn't really agree with the point of the the prompt because I don't think that's necessarily true however we we're going to find out what what I thought and yes keep watching to find out what I think of the Gilmore Girls. I should also say that the original creator of this tag, I'm not sure who it was, but everywhere that I've seen people have tagged it, the video has been privated, so um, what I will do is link down a few um, versions that I've seen of this that I really enjoyed watching so that you can go and check those out as well. Do check out the description box for those. So the first prompt is obviously for Lorelei got to be an amazing character, I love Lorelei so much, and the prompt for this is a witty is a character with a witty or sarcastic sense of humour and so I went with Cormoran Strike from the um, Robert Galbraith um, Cormoran Strike series strangely enough this one is the fourth book it's huge I haven't read it yet I've read the first three and loved all of them uh, obviously Robert Galbraith is a pseudonym for JK Rowling so I really wanted to read these when they came out and I have not been disappointed I absolutely love this series um, Cormoran Strike definitely has that like sarcastic sense of humour but he's really funny and I love to read about him. He's very sarcastic in like a dry sense of humour way and that's my favourite thing about him because I have quite a dry sense of humour and quite a like dirty mind I guess um, and I kind of feel like that's similar. I don't know there's something about him that just really kind of resonates with me as a character and yeah I do really love him so yeah very much looking forward to reading this book because I've had this now for ages and I actually bought this brand new which I don't do very often so yeah looking forward to picking up this one but definitely a character who has a very witty sense of humour. Question number two is Rory and I must say I love Rory don't get me wrong Rory is like my favourite character from the series one to seven. I don't know that I loved her the imagination of her in the kind of updated like newer series because something about her I mean I'm not going to spoil anything because I don't want to kind of I don't know I just don't feel like that's what Rory would have done. So yeah, I'm not her biggest fan in the like continuation, I guess. Um, but for the prompt for Rory is a favourite classic because obviously we all know that Rory reads like everything and she loves to read classics. I could say Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, but you all know that one already. So I'm going to try in this tag to talk about some books that I haven't talked about as much. Um, I have definitely mentioned this book more recently, but that's because I read it more recently. Um, and I'm going to count this as my favourite classic at the moment, which is The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. This is a wonderful book. It's incredibly important. It talks about Seeley, who is a um, black farmer. It talks about Celie who is a young black girl who was born into poverty and incredible segregation and she um, has ha like horrendous things happen. There is trigger warnings for rape in this one, in fact the rape happens right on the front first page. Um, this one has lots of representation for, um, it's incredibly diverse, it talks about um, race, it talks about um, LGBT issues especially in the American South in the time of this book and 
this is wonderful i loved this book i buddy read this with emily and we had such a great time reading this it's quite difficult read like in terms of the language in it is um told from Celie's dialect which can be a little bit difficult to pick pick up but I still think that this is incredibly important and 100% everybody should read this um, I'm really glad that I did read this and yeah it's definitely my favorite classic right now question number three is for Luke and this is a book that you secretly love but are afraid to admit and I am a little bit offended by that prompt because I am not afraid to admit that I love Luke Luke has always been my favorite no matter who Lorelai was with at the time I always thought Luke was going to be the guy, so I love Luke. I'm not secretly afraid to admit that I love it because I do love it. And um, yeah, no, I'm out and proud about Luke and my love for him. The one I wanted to talk about in this one is again one that I'm not like afraid to admit, but it's definitely an author that as I was younger, I never really talked about. And when I first started on BookTube, I definitely didn't mention this author just because, um, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is in my brain I was like it's not cool it's ridiculous I mean I love it and I definitely talk about her all the time now um but that is Daniel Steele I love Daniel Steele my nan introduced me to Daniel Steele and I think in my head because my nan introduced me to her I was like oh it's an old lady type book and oh and, but no honestly it's not I love her books they're so amazing and she really talks about lots of different things every one of her books is really really well like written and the one that I specifically wanted to talk about is called Winners by Danielle Steele. This follows a girl, I can't remember her name honestly, I read this a couple of years ago now, but it follows a girl who is um, destined for the Olympics, She, uh, the Winter Olympics, she's a skier and she's amazing at what she does and one day her and her dad, um, her mum passed away in a car accident um, a few years before so her and her dad, it's just the two of them and he supports her really really, you know, it's very important he does support her and then something happens, um, there's an accident on a ski lift and basically she ends up paralysed um, from the waist down so she's unable to ski anymore and it's kind of about that her going to rehab and trying to figure out her life and what she's going to do and it's really really amazing her dad steps in and tries to like set up all these things he's not com he's not happy to like let it lie that she's going to be paralyzed and forever so yeah this is a wonderful wonderful book and it's so important and i love the the way that it was written and like i said daniel still researches everything in such a wonderful way so definitely definitely a book that i think that you should check out even if you're not like a big daniel Steele fan i think this book is fantastic and pretty much all of her books are standalones as well so i think that's quite good question number four is for lane and lane um is Rory's best friend in the in the Gilmore Girls and Lane is one of my favorite characters to be honest with you I think that Lane is really kind of underrated as a character she is a um Korean main character so her mum is very much trying to get her to live in a in the very in a very strict uh, religious way and um, she wants her to marry a fellow Korean and they're trying to sort of like arrange a marriage for her and lots and lots of things but Delane is secretly very musical so the prompt for this one is a musical character. Now I don't read a lot of books about like musicians and stuff I know that a lot of people do tend to like kind of um, band books and stuff like that as in B-A-N-D not B-A-N-N-E-D um, and um, I it's just not really something I read a lot of but I did have one on my shelf still um, that I wanted to talk about so we have um, Noah who is one of the characters in Girl Online this is the second book but there are three books in this trilogy by Zoe Sugg aka Zoella on YouTube I think she's just Zoe Sugg now but anyway um, this one like I say is the second one on tour gives it away that it's a bit musical so Noah in this is um, the kind of love interest and he is a member of a band and it kind of follows that I guess like Penny who's the girl in this has a bit of a crush on Noah and it kind of goes from there um this is a really great series personally I really love it um and I definitely love the musical element to this because it talks about music as a way to kind of um help you with anxiety and to help you with other things and music is like a therapy in some ways which I think is a really important thing and a lot of people do use it for that so yeah I very much enjoy this series and Noah is my musical character although I've got to say not the biggest Noah fan if I'm honest but I enjoy the series as a whole. Question number five is Dean and Dean was Rory's first love I guess and so the prompt for this one is the first book that you loved like your first book love with that character book or author I have to say I first of all obviously everybody loved Dean and Rory together 
there's somebody I prefer, I have to say. Dean is not my favourite. Um, especially, I don't know, there's something about him. I really did not enjoy his character in the continuation. And towards the end of the actual series, I'm not a huge Dean fan. I really was at the start. Um, yeah, not so much anymore. Maybe it's because somebody else came in and I think that was the one. That was the one I preferred. Um, I wonder if you can guess who I liked. Do you think I'm a Logan or do you think I'm a Jess fan? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments down below before before I go into any more. Anyway, uh, so the one I want to talk about today is again a book books that my mum actually recommended or not recommended but she used to read and so I used to read them after her and it's a little bit like they're, they can be a little bit depressing at times because you have to read them at the right time in your life I guess uh, but I wanted to talk about Kathy Glass as an author so this is Nobody's Son by Kathy Glass I haven't read this one yet this is the actually the only Kathy Glass book that I currently have on my TBR because I don't really read this type of book anymore however this was the first series of books that I was kind of that I not series but this was the first author that I completely fell in love with. Um, I should just say, obviously Harry Potter, but I'm trying in this video not to talk about loads of books that I've, as I said, I've talked about before. So I'm going for something different today, guys. I know. Look at me. So Kathy Glass writes, so Kathy Glass is the pseudonym of a woman who is a foster mother and she has fostered for 25 years and she's been a carer to more than 150 children and I think that's completely inspirational and I love that. So she writes the stories of some of the children that she's fostered and kind of what happened to them uh, previously and then what will, like what happens to them afterwards I guess. Um, this obviously is one of those stories I don't know what this particular one is about. Um, I obviously will read this at some point. I think I recently hauled this actually. My mum gave this to me. And yes, I think this could be um, an interesting thing for me to read now because like I said, this just is not my type of genre at the moment or it's not really what I'm reading. But um, I do love to kind of go back and read some of the things that I read when I was younger. So yeah, Kathy Glass is definitely an author that I love and I love reading about like adoption stories and like fostering stories. I think it's really inspirational, like I say. So yes, definitely an author that I loved. Then next up we have Suki and Suki is amazing. I could not have been more upset that she wasn't in more of the continuation because I know obviously M Melissa McCarthy is like a massive actress now so you know she's very very popular and she does all these big movies and stuff now which is great but um yeah so, so she wasn't in much of the continuation but I did love that we got to see her a little bit but like I said Suki girl after my own heart you know I adored her I think she's great she's just I don't think the series would have been the same without her honestly and I love that she was like she was funny and yeah I just love her so the um, prompt for this one is a book that you a book series that you devoured and so I wanted to talk about the NYPD Red series so this one is obviously by James Patterson um, and this is NYPD Red 5 this is the last one in the series so far they might he might write more but this is the last one so far and I haven't read this one yet this is the last one I have to read but I read the first four books in the series like within a couple of months I think I love this series so much it's wonderful and I love that it's a bit of a shorter series for James Patterson most of his other series are like 20 books long so this was quite a nice one to be able to say I've read most of. I do intend on reading this book soon. So this follows um, Jordan, I can't remember his name, Zach Jordan and Kylie McDonald, who are detectives in the elite NYPD Red branch named NYPD Red. And they basically deal with crimes or um, kind of issues against the elite sort of A-list of New York. And yeah it's great like I said I absolutely love this this like I say is the fourth one uh, the fifth one and I've loved all four of the other ones so far so I'm sure I'm going to really enjoy this one as well so I'm very much looking forward to reading it next up is Jess and this is a book that and this is a book that you love that everyone seems to hate if that is true I'm very upset because I'm going to tell you guys I'm definitely team Jess Jess will always be my favorite I love him I don't know if people love or hate do you know what I'm going to do I'm going to put a poll up just up here and it's going to say, Logan, Jess or Dean? What do you reckon? Jess, 100% for me. I, like I said, I was a fan of Dean until Jess came in and then that's all I cared about. And I love the fact that Jess was in the um, continuation quite a bit. I love Jess. Maybe it's because he's related to Luke, but Jess is, th there isn't anyone else but Jess for me. Like, Jess is amazing. As I said, the prompt for this one is a book that you love that everyone seems to hate. And I... 
was thinking about this one and I decided to talk about A Tiny Bit Marvelous by Dawn French. This is my favourite Dawn French book and I haven't actually loved the other ones that much. I think I liked one and didn't like the other uh, but this is 100% my favourite and I feel like a lot of people have the opposite reaction. I love this one. This follows um, a woman who's in her 50s and she has two uh, two children. I believe they're in their like teens and um, she's about to do something that's going to change their lives basically and it's amazing. I really enjoyed this. I really liked this is told in different perspectives so it's told from her perspective. It's also told from her two children's perspectives and I just thought it was really well done to be honest with you. I really really enjoyed it. I love the characterization of her daughter in this and yeah there was just so much to read about and I really enjoyed it. However like I said I know that that is an unpopular opinion and this doesn't get very good reviews generally but um, personally I did not enjoy the other two of hers that much especially one of them I really hated it um, but yeah this one was great for me and I personally enjoyed it so I think that's the one I'm going to go with for this video. Then next up we have Miss Patty and this is a book that was ruined by all the hype. <laughs> Miss Patty, what will I say? I kind of love her and I kind of hate her all at the same time so I kind of understand where this question is coming from because I do think that, I don't think it's hype necessarily even, I just think there's something about her that just gets a bit annoying after a while. I feel like she's one of those people, like if she was in your family you'd be alright seeing her for the day but after that you'd be like no I need a break. <laughs> So yeah, I can kind of see where this question's coming from. So the, uh, the answer that I've given for this one is The Martian by Andy Weir. I really liked the movie to this book and um, I really enjoyed the kind of premise of it. But for me, I don't know if... I think there was so much hype because I'd already seen the movie, I think. Did I watch the movie first? I think I did. I think I watched the movie first and then I read the book. And the book just is a very scientific and like the, the words in it and, and lots of textbook style kind of like algorithms and stuff and I just didn't really enjoy that. I think the storyline itself was great and I think that Andy Weir's um, characterization of um, Mark Watney was amazing but I do think because I'd seen the TV, like the film and um, what's his name? And like Matt Damon had done such a great job playing Mark Watney, I just didn't really care about reading the book I think. So I think that was probably what spoiled it for me, the movie and the kind of hype around that I guess. So yeah I didn't love this one unfortunately. So, sorry Miss Patty, but you're the Martian. Next up we have Emily Gilmore and this is L Lorelei's mum and this one is an expensive book. So as you might know, like I say if you've seen the series, um, Emily Gilmore is a, she's very well to do and she's very kind of, I don't know, she's quite strong and, um, but she can be quite cold as well. And I love Emily, I do, but I also... I get angry with her for Lorelai I think I just feel for Lorelai because I feel like she just she just wants a bit of love really and she just can't get it so yeah I really really I do enjoy Emily's character though um and I think when she has like her soft moments I, I love that um so the prompt like I said for this one is an expensive book and I have picked a book that was expensive in two very different ways now as I mentioned earlier I never buy books full price like ever I, I very rarely buy books full price um and I've picked Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the play script, like Acts 1 and 2 or whatever it was, written by, I can't remember who it was, Jack something, it's gone. Basically it was from an idea that JK Rowling had to continue on the Harry Potter series and she didn't write it, they did. And it's a play, it's, it's actually happening. So it's expensive for the book because I bought the book first, like full price when it first came out. I wanted to read it straight away. It's also expensive if you want to go and see the play itself, the play in London, it's very expensive. It's also expensive in terms of how much it ruined the series for me. Um, the cost was high, that's what I should say. I really hated this book. Or this play whatever I'm pretending it didn't really happen I don't really want to think about it as part of the Harry Potter series so I'm not <laughs> I've made that decision for myself um yeah I just didn't like this I just I really didn't like it and um kind of made me angry if I'm totally honest so yeah not a fan of that it's expensive like I said in three different ways and that's the one I'm gonna go with the next prompt is for the next prompt is for Paris and this is an uptight character I like Paris but 
I don't know, I don't think I do, you know. I know a lot of people have lots of, like, love for Paris, and I think... I understand why, and I know where she's coming from, but she just... I can't really stand her. I have to say. Like, there are some things about her and some parts of her relationship with Rory that I enjoy, but I do feel like she started off bad for me and just kind of went along the same way like she makes me angry and I don't like how she treats Rory and I don't enjoy how she like walks all over people I'm really happy that she has a successful career now but yeah I wasn't really a fan of her um, and like I said this was an uptight character so I went with the cast pretty much of The Swimming Pool by Louise Candlish I love the book that uh, The Swimming Pool but most of the characters in this are incredibly uptight um this basically follows a woman who um whose young daughter is um has aquaphobia so she's terrified of like swimming pools and like big pools of water and um she there's like a lido being built in their area and the woman decides to try and help her daughter by taking her there um and then in the process they meet the woman who kind of was responsible for the lido being rebuilt um called lara and yeah it's a long story it's a thriller i love i do really really enjoy this book it was a really great read and fun but yeah most of the characters in this are incredibly uptight and very unlikable as well actually if you want to go there too i did like i say did really enjoy it but not characters that you're supposed to love if i'm honest then the penultimate question is for uh richard and this is a death you haven't quite got over and i loved richard as a character richard is lorelei's father and then rory's grandfather emily's husband and that episode in the final um the continuation where richard's funeral happens breaks my heart every time if you don't know the guy who played richard i can't remember his name i'm really rubbish but the guy who played richard actually died in between them making the original gilmore girls and the continuation so they obviously he wasn't he wasn't in the um in the continuation at all so they had to obviously find a way to respectfully um mention him because obviously they couldn't just ignore that he was a character um but yeah it was really really sad like really sad and um i actually did cry quite a bit watching that episode to be honest especially because watching that episode you could tell that all of the cast who were crying obviously because they were at a funeral were genuinely crying like you could tell how emotional they were getting because it was somebody that they used to work with i guess so yeah a very very difficult watch um and the one i wanted to talk about in this was um i'm not gonna say who because um it would spoil the book um but it's a character from the nightingale by Kristen hannah Kristen hannah's the nightingale was actually my favorite book of 2016 i loved this book so much i have really good memories of reading it as well because i read it when i was on holiday with my boyfriend at the time now he's my fiance which is amazing and yeah i love 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 that book so so much and um it's definitely a book that stuck with me and the person who died in it i don't know it i just i'm not over it do you know what i mean it stayed with me so definitely my answer for this one <laughs> and then the final question is logan and this question is to talk about the book the character who's had the most development and i'm angry <laughs> by this question because <laughs> i don't think he has any development i think mean, he's the same spoiled rich boy that he always was and he still is now i have feelings about this yeah i'm just gonna leave it there because i don't want to rant about logan the whole way i don't like logan i liked him and now i don't I don't like him at all and I'm angry about the insinuation that he has the most character development and that everyone hates Jess. Very sad about that. Anyway, I think the questions should have been swapped around but anyhow, we're gonna go there. So the answer for this question for me was The Hate You Give by um, Angie Thomas. Uh, in this book, Star, the main character, is a black girl who goes to a predominantly white school she lives in a black neighborhood and she lives very two di essentially different lives and she has to she tries to fit in with the people that she's with at the time now she goes to a party um with one of her friends um that she lives with and essentially they get pulled over and she gets a lift home from the party but with this guy and they get pulled over by a, a white police officer who guns down her friend and she's the only witness and it's kind of about that um this is an incredibly important book it talks about racial profiling it talks about 
all sorts of things like police brutality um it's a wonderful read um incredibly sad though and a very difficult story however i think that star and as the main character in this she evolves in such wonderful ways like her character she's so like she just is amazing and she grows in such like a, a huge way throughout this book and um yeah I, I love this i have to talk about this all the time i haven't talked about this in a while though and i've read this like last year so i'm quite need to talk about it again so i'm glad i managed to get it into this video um but yeah definitely if you haven't read the um hate you give do go and uh, read it i need to see um the movie and i also want to read on the come up which is her new one um so yeah i'm gonna look out for that one i think and see if i can find a copy of it but yes those are my answers to the gilmore girls book tag i hope that you liked this video i am going to tag three people so the first person that i'm going to tag is julie from the hungry bookworm i love julie's channel and i think that um she will come up with some fun question answers to this question i don't know if any of you guys that i'm talking about today watched gilmore girls or have but if you don't and you haven't um firstly i'd say you should definitely but second thirdly i would say i don't think you really need to have watched it to do this tag but it's up to you obviously um, I also want to tag Linda from Linda's World of Books. I love Linda's channel, I think she's amazing and I again would love to hear her answers. And then the third person I want to talk about is actually also going to be my video shout out for this video and that is going to be Paul from the channel Paul Reads Books. Paul recently, um, obviously I don't know when this video is going to go up because I'm really behind, like I have loads of videos filmed but I'm editing them really slowly so this could go up in like a month's time um but um, at the time of doing this video <laughs> it's before the scooby doo -a and paul had posted a um tbr for that which i will link down below um so yeah i also shared it on twitter but i do 100 percent recommend paul's channel i think he's fantastic and i also tag him in this video so i hope that you'd like to do this paul if not i hope everybody goes and subscribes to you anyway because i think paul's fantastic Give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time for another one. Bye!